Uh, Shalom Israel. We have to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakudash, Double One, to the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek there doing his work of faith and labor of love and truth sincerity. All right, and as you can see on the screen, uh, from the title of reads, uh, Tamon Blair, found and lynched in the back. <coughs> Hold on, so in the back of his tractor trailer, hands were bound. You know, and you know, I just wanted to get into this, man, to show you, man, that 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 with Esau, that hatred is still there, and many people wondering, you know, well, how is it that we in 2019 and you know stuff like this is still happening because those same spirits that were around back during those times are around now, and we know that history repeats itself, and that hatred, you know, that both of our nations have towards each other is still there especially with esau towards us you know with everything that's been done from the blessing to the birthright esau not being spiritual giving it up and stuff like that you know it boils in these devil's bloods man they don't know how to be any other way it's embedded in their spirit man so i'm gonna just play a little bit of this and i'm um, and touch on some scriptures uh with this you know This has been the tradition of racism and white supremacy of lynching black men. Ever since they had the civil rights movement and brothers were put in that work behind lynchings, they switched the game up with the police departments and stated that anytime someone is lynched, just say it's a suicide. Now, if anyone actually would study suicides in America, black people are the lowest group that commit suicide. The number one rate of suicide with anyone is by medication. After that, gunshots. Then after that would be asphyxia. But remember, black people rank the lowest in suicide. You have a young brother. Hey, by now, name of now, you heard what he said. He said, uh, you know, Jake ranked the lowest among suicides, man. Why is that? Because we got the strongest spirit, man. You know? Our spirit is way stronger than these devils. Every time when crisis and things like that hit, you know, like 1929, um, you know, a depression, you know, and all that, the stock market and all of that, uh, just a few years ago, you know, with the economy uh, crashing as hard as it did, you know, you had a bunch of uh, devils that were either being killed or killing themselves, big uh, people in bank industries, jumping off of buildings, doing all type of stuff, man. That's because our spirit is, is naturally stronger than theirs, man. Period. You know, we were born and, and bred to go through adversity, bred to go through the sufferings, you know, to be built up. But when they, uh, but when things like that arise upon their heads, man, you know, they don't know how to deal with it, right? It's so real quick. I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to the apocryphal. I'm going to go to, Real quick, go to Genesis 25. Get straight to the point. Genesis 25 and 23. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. So it said clearly what? I, it's going to be two nations that come out of her womb. They're going to be two different manners of people, and one shall be stronger than the other. So clearly, who is that, man? Now, you can look at it on a physical note, a spiritual note, a mo however you want to look at it. Jake is stronger than Edom on all levels, man. It's just that the most I had gave them in this present time, you know, the favor, and this is their inheritance to have the earth for now. But ours is to have uh, the world to come forever, man, period, you know? But we can clearly see how we're stronger than them on all ways, shapes, forms, and fashions, man. And especially spiritually, you know, because as you said, what we have the lowest rate, you know, of nations uh, for suicide. And also, um, damn, Slocky, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, Slocky, it didn't wind up coming back to me. But um, let me, let me uh, get back. <clears throat> With Taman Blair, he was a straight A student. He was a father, 21 years old, working. He had an unborn child coming. 
and he had his tractor trailer. He was driving. He was in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Now, as I looked into Indiana itself, it has 24 active hate groups in Indiana. So this brother was doing his job, and then he come up missing. Then they're finding this brother in the back of his own tractor trailer, Lynch. Now, let me read something a person wrote, and then I'm going to talk about some findings they had along with the same findings with Donye Jones out of St. Louis. And you remember I interviewed his mother, Melissa McKinnis. Now, this what was wrote here was he was released in 2019. The police were... Like, hey, and, and this, as far as what I know, I'm sure it's probably been more, you know, because <clears throat> we don't get to see and hear about everything. But within the last uh, three years, it's been at least uh, four to five lynchings, you know, that's been done by Edom against Jake, man, you know, in this type of fashion, doing things like this. Man, I remember the one uh, from North Carolina, uh, North Carolina, like a couple years ago, the other one that he just mentioned now, this one, and I believe it was like one or two more, you know, but I'm going to just read what they have up here. Um, and it says uh, he was lynched in 2019 and the police would like to control the narrative and say it was a suicide. His face was black and blue, and his hands were clenched tight like he was fighting. So if his face was black and blue, why would this be a suicide? Who the hell is going to sit there and, and beat them damn selves up in the face, man? And then to try to uh, make it look like, you know, uh, something else. Come on, man. Does that sound like a suicide? What you aren't going to see in the news, 21-year-old Tamon Blair from Charlotte, Found hung to death inside of his tractor trailer while on the road making a living for his family and unborn child. Detectives has advised there was a struggle inside of the truck, which means Tamon didn't hang himself, which is how the assailant made it appear. He was strangled as well as lynched. Please share so we can get this up to news stations and more as more and more of our black men are being lynched and stories being swept under the mat. Praying that justice is served for the young man, as well as his loved ones. Uh, WSOC TV, WBTV News, news shared. News is shared on our local news for other states. We need this to be publicized as well as as well and elevated to higher news channels. This family deserves justice. Not to mention he was a very talented young man, graduated from high school, straight A's, could sing as well, play the piano, very well-rounded man. Donations, so forth and so forth, and. Now, this is a, what you would consider in this society a model citizen, right? Just for the fact that he was good in school, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't known to be in trouble or anything like that. You know, we just working, taking care of his family. This is what the society would consider, you know, uh, a, a decent young man. But obviously to eat him, that doesn't matter. And to try to cover this up, you know, that's a whole nother thing, man. Because like I said, this is all within... You know, eat him spirit to try to do this. And, you know, if it's a cover up, you know, the, the uh, some of the police had to been on it as well, man. You know, real quick. Um, is the, I'm going to go to the book of uh, <clears throat> Psalms 58. And I started out uh, verse one and it says uh, to the chief musician, out as if uh, of David, do ye indeed speak right righteousness? O congregation, do ye judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? No, they don't. Yea, in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. So this is all they do. This is embedded within their spirit, man. To be liars, cheaters, deceivers, to be the destroyers of the earth that the most High set them up to be, man. So the Most High can raise them up just how they did Pharaoh and then bring them down low when that time comes, man. Esau, his time is coming, man. You know? Um, I'm going to go to real quick Amos 1, you know, to show that hatred. It's Amos 1 and 11. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity. And his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. So we see that up and clear into this present day, man. They've kept that wrath forever. But yet every time uh, something happens to Jake, you know, out here, 
They want to forgive the so-called white man when he's being nothing but the devil, man. And they showing you that they're being nothing but the devil. So why constantly go on this um, tyrant, uh, tyrant to, uh, you know, forgive them when they don't give a damn about you? And it's clear and evident, man, you know, from watching, um, you know, different uh, so-called uh, black scholars and people that's supposed to be for the people or whatever. Um, some new guy I was watching yesterday, but, you know, they were just they just always reiterating the point. The worst thing that could have happened for our people was to try to be seeking social integration, you know, and whenever our people actually try to get, you know, fair wages, fair jobs and, you know, go after the money, you know, you had certain nations that was willing to back us, you know, particularly the so-called Jews uh, earlier in the 1900s. They was willing to back us for social integration as long as they can put their stores within our neighborhoods. But as soon as we started trying to seek uh, a monetary gain out of the situation, then they didn't want anything to do with us. So this is the nature of the so-called white man to constantly try to get over and to play games on the people, especially when it comes to Jake, to get their own benefits, man. They don't know how to think or be any other way, man. They are the devil that the Bible speaks of. And this is clearly more evidence of that as we, in 2019, where you wouldn't be expecting things like this to happen, man, you know? So with that, you know, um, you know, I just hope this uh, short segment was edifying. And I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Kakwadash, the Bawanas to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the Lekab Deer, doing his work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. Shalom.